As Republicans were holding their caucuses in Iowa, President Biden was campaigning to keep his job with a visit to Philadelphia, and so far it looks like he has his work cut out for him. Here's Jackie Heinrich. The Biden campaign announced today, two weeks before the deadline, they hauled in $97 million in donations last quarter, trying to show that voters don't want the candidates on the ballot in Iowa. But no matter who wins, the plan is to liken all the GOP candidates to Trump. This campaign is ready, willing and able to take on any of those MAGA Republican candidates and beat them. No matter which version of the Trump MAGA agenda wins tonight, original, heels or boots, The platform they are fighting for will cause irreparable harm to this country. Team Biden believes playing up MAGA threats to democracy got Democrats elected in 2020, the 2022 midterms, and last year's state and local elections. So they're sticking with it for 2024. President Biden said today Trump's candidacy gave him no choice but to seek a second term, despite hardship on his family. He's most anti-democratic with his cap with a small d president in American history. I had to check with my kids, my grandkids, because you know they're going to be victimized like everybody else is. But Biden faces an uphill battle, his approval rating hitting a 15-year low in a new Washington Post ABC poll, 33 percent. And Biden's also facing angst from key constituencies over U.S. support for Israel. Tomorrow, federal workers and some administration staff are expected to walk off the job in protest. Biden's administration has been messaging to upset voters that he hears their concerns and he too wants Israel to start winding down its campaign in Gaza. But there's also a pull on Biden to come toward the center. Senator Joe Manchin reportedly telling donors he plans to speak with Biden in the coming days to say as much. And the answer he gets will factor into whether Manchin launches a bipartisan bid of his own. At the White House, Jackie Heinrich, Fox News.